Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. This is more of a pre-field setup for the QRP Labs QMX transceiver. The mindset, I think, for this radio is that it's a kit. And because it's a kit radio, there are many options that you have. In particular, the design of this radio also gives us the option for many different people with, you know, different options and backgrounds, I guess, and, and, and the opportunity not to stay stuck in one particular area. If that makes any sense, <laughs> um, because when I received the QMX transceiver, or the QMX radio, I thought I'll just plug it in and go. Well, first of all, what microphone are you going to be using for that? Because you really can't use your uh, Yesu mic. Yes, I know. You bought the radio. You already knew that. If you re if you read it, if you knew what what uh, you needed to, what you what accessories you need for it to to run, because it, they only sell the radio or the kit to build it, and it it didn't occur to me like. Oh, I'll just get one from the shelf. No, you have to build one or you have to buy one that's specific to the radio or um, build one in terms of like with different parts, right? So that that's something. Um, being QRP is a challenge, of course. Um, but if you've ever done QRP, you know that that's a, a, a challenging... Um, and technical um, mindset that you have to have. Another thing that that um, got me by surprise is the power. Um, you know, DC barrel connection. You know, you see you see that in FT eight one eight, but but the options, I mean, is is just. Mind-boggling. Uh, BioNO has a 9-volt uh, battery that you can use. Um, it doesn't have the barrel connection, but you can buy adapters for it. And I don't have, do I have the adapter here? Yeah, I have the adapter here, right? So you can so you can put the adapter here. This is one way of doing it, and then just plugging it in here, right? But then again, you have this bulk. Right. It's not portable as much anymore, and you have all these external cables. Um, and you can also go with uh, something like with this buck converter, which I am very, very proud and putting together. Um, this one in particular, um, because it's it's something that was bugging me, these tiny screws connecting to the wires would pop off and all that. But I found a way of, um, of putting this together. This wasn't inexpensive. Um, but the longer lead here, this is the way I built it, goes here. And the thing is that it won't run. <laughs> it won't run on a regular bioino battery, 12 volt, 3 amp battery. It won't. It's just too strong for it. And this one is a barrel, so it goes in here. And uh, the way this works, this one is this one is nice because it gives you how much power you have. And so it goes from these are what 13.3. Yes, it's topped off that 14.3, but it goes down to 14.3 or so, and then it um, and then it's at uh, the adjustment, you have to do the adjustments. Now it's 12.2. Uh, it says that it needs 12. Uh, but the thing is, when, when I turn it on, it will show me 12 here. It shows me 11.8 on the screen. So again, more options, but you know, like which one's best, right? This one's nine volts. And the thing is, I'm not going to get the 5 watts that I want. 
Okay. So that's something that I have to think about. Do I want something like this? Um, you know, maybe get something like this where it's an, a 9-volt battery. This one's a USB-C 9-volt battery, but just a 9-volt battery, barrel connection. You put it on, and it, this is really tiny and really nice. But is this really going to give you the power that you need? Yes, you could. If you're doing CW, yes. You're doing um, phone, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet because it's it's been very challenging again to figuring out what I want. Um, microphone we talked about. Microphone, um, this one's the G7 UFO. Very nice, very small. And you can connect it here to the paddle. Yes, paddle. <laughs> Um, and it goes, or you can build your own uh, with a different type of design, right? And so this one, I 3D printed it, and it works as well. Um, you can have a key, right? One beautiful thing about the QMX, and, and I only messed around with it just a few few minutes. <laughs> is that it has a keyer. It can tell you, when you press it, it tells you what letters you're, you're producing. I've been really wanting to work on that, and um, I haven't had any time. CW is something that I want to learn. Um, it's going to take some time to do. If I want to do something like this, I'm going to, if I want to do like CW in practice, it'd be good to have a dummy load. And then this dummy load is the MFJ uh, 261 DC 500 megahertz. I guess it goes up to that. 15 watts, peak at 100 watts. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful design. Relatively inexpensive. Uh, adapters, you know, um, maybe you want to go with uh, VHF, UHF top connection. B and C connection here. Um, if I'm going to use a, a vertical, right, that's compromised, I might need to make some type of um, counterpoise, which I haven't tried yet. I, I did a little bit. Question is, where can I put this counterpoise? Would have been nice if there's just some type of connection. Just put it in there, right? But there isn't at the moment. Or maybe I can build one, right? Maybe I can drill a hole and do it myself. That's the beauty of one of these devices. Clamps uh, to hold the antenna. I'm not sure if I want that. And then this is a 10 meter um, dipole that I haven't tried yet. Now, of course, it could be an L configuration, right? Or a or, or horizontal L. Or maybe vertical. Um, and of course the um, the coax, you know, I don't I don't have one here, I have it in the car. So that's another option as well. Um, this is pretty neat, these uh, devices, recording devices, because what I can do is I can put the audio. And I know I have something along here. This one in particular was for this. But you can connect the recording, the recorder to the audio. And then you can listen with the headphones, right? Put the headphones here. And what you can do is you can listen to what's coming out and recording it. Of course, it's not recording your your audio. It's recording what uh, is coming in. But when if I press the PTT button to record out, it won't record out. So you probably need another camera or something, and then you can mix them together. Um, this is something what I kind of do, and I and I actually haven't done it yet on the FTA five seven D. If that would work that way. Um, wouldn't it be nice if it did have a, a, and of course it's already, it's already compact. 
And I don't think they're going to want to make it a little bit bigger. But it might be bigger in the future because I did uh, listen to the guy who developed this wants to put a um, uh, a tuner, a small tuner. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? An SSD card. And then I think he wants, not an SSD card, of course, it's not, that's way too too much, I guess. And of course, the power consideration, of course. Uh, you have to consider that. Um, so there, there's 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 been a lot of options, and I'm getting a little bit um, overwhelmed and confused on what this radio really should be. Should it be a little radio? Should should it be a little radio with just a battery? Uh, the antenna, of course, is a whole different, it's a whole, whole different thing. And should it be like a CW? Oh, by the way, well, this is coming apart. I, I printed this out, uh, which is not the best, but it does cover. If you do have some, uh, I finally got a 3D printer. If you do have a nice little case with the frames, uh, send it to me. But is it, is it this? Oh, where's the other wire? Is this the radio right here? Should it should it just be this? Should it be a CW? And I know there's much smaller ones than this. You know, should it be just a CW radio? Um, <clears throat> and just think of it that way, because I you know I really do like foam, and that that's that's been my thing for since the beginning. Uh, I also printed these out. So safety, so th this could be in my bag, it doesn't come out very easily. And then this one is packed up. This one's from Amazon, got these uh, on sale, very inexpensive. Um, you can also get some from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has pretty good prices too. But this one, the SoShine, is a USB version, USB-C to power, power from the sun. And there's a lot of sun today. I'm so glad um, that the sun is out today and I can film this way. It's been a little long time. Um, okay, so a lot of options and I'm, I'm still debating what is it that I want to do with all this. I'll probably have a video in the near future in terms of um, utilizing this. I really want to utilize this in the car. I haven't had, I have had some moments with it, but because it's QRP and the, and also mobile, I'm having some issues. Um, um, nothing like my FT8, 857D at, at 90 watts. Um, it's a, it, it can get frustrating, but that's the game that you that you get into and it's not i know it's not a game but the technical hobby that we're in if you're going to use this for phone at at approximately five um watts you know there's going to be some real bad days more bad than good i think um and just and that's because when i first started i wanted to challenge myself with my ic705 and it, it was heartbreaking to the point almost, almost I had to quit because I wasn't getting anybody on the other side. But I understand now what I was doing wrong. The antenna was unrealistic, uh, getting, trying to get all the different bands, um, you know, and also, you know, when I started doing QRP, which was the lower end of the solar cycle. So, again, it's technical. It's a technical hobby that you need to understand that it, there's going to be lows and highs. And uh, getting the QMX transceiver, you you know, if, if you're new to the hobby, you'll be surprised at how much you're going to learn and maybe some frustrations along the way in terms of what power you want. This is going to be a CW type radio. Um, what microphone you're going to be using, again, what power, 
um, how you're going to record, if you're going to record, and if you're going to put this together, that's another challenge. So if you have one of these radios, tell us. What batteries do you use? Do you use it as a CW type uh, radio? Uh, what type of power do you use? Do you have a dummy load to test the radio? Do you record? Uh, tell us what, what other accessories you use. Maybe you have a better cover than this. Um, but I'm not knocking this off. This is very nice because what I can do is I have one of these uh, from uh, uh, Fujifilm for a lens that I used to have. And then, you know, I can just put it in there. And I know it's covered. And then just wrap it up and then take it with me, put it in my bag. So, um, so I'm not knocking that, that cover. Thing is, it's just, it just pops out very easily. And that's the only thing I don't like. Maybe it would be nice if it just clicked. Um, I know there's some that you can utilize without the frame. Uh, but I like the frame. You can flip it over like that. Okay. So, um, thanks for watching. And uh, um, I hope you have a, a wonderful week. This is... Frank, Whiskey, Charlie, Zero Oscar, and I hope to see you later. Bye-bye.